Hello, hi there um, Libras, <laughs> welcome to my channel, my name is Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your love horoscope for December 2017 and how I work and how I do all of my readings is with the help of my spirit guides, I basically interpret the information they give me and give you a general overview for you to consider in terms of the energies or themes that are coming out in a very general way when it comes to your romantic life. And if you'd like to know more about me and my services, please do look at the links below. You can catch me on my Insco app, or you can catch me, <laughs> you can get video readings or Skype readings, or you might want to join me on my Facebook page where I go there live pretty much nearly every day to give some daily guidance also there too. So guys, are you ready for what my information my guides want to give you when it comes to your love life for December 2017? Pretty much been saying to most people that the dynamics of energy shifts that are for the positive are, are and will be playing out for most star signs um, in the month of December as we embark on a new cycle of energy for the next two and a half years and it's quite profound and there's definitely a massive shift and you will also notice it. Now what's interesting, the way that my guides start your reading is to let you know so I think you're, there's a bit of a bit of a choppiness let's say that seems to come out in the energies between you and your romantic ventures when it comes to uh, what plays out in December, but they they want you to know that something is very much fated. That and, and I mean for the positive that you and somebody else else are like really meant to be, and is extremely fated, and there is a bit more of you understanding the dynamics of that bond and becoming much more aware of that as we get to the end of this month than perhaps you have been aware of because they're saying here that there's an element of you finally seeing what you didn't see before um like you have a greater understanding like some figures revealed to you that you were either in denial about or you just couldn't see because of other things going on in your life you know work or family or friendships and or, you know, other problems that you suddenly start to see as you travel through this month and then understand that somebody is fated for you so it's important they let you know that because the way it's coming across like the first week like if you're single the first week is a really good week for meeting people but if you are in a long term connection or you have a connection with somebody that you've known for a really long time but perhaps it's not just taken off for many reasons some of them being because you haven't been able to make that happen or because they haven't been able to make that happen there's a lot of bonding basically going on in the first month between you and other people that matter to you the heart i get lots of talks and conversations wanted to meet up for some people there are also also engagement plans and stepping up existing connections but mainly it's about you like it's a really good flow of energy in the first couple of weeks and then particularly I want to say if you have had a bit of a tough time communicating in your existing relationship definitely it's much better in that first week but also if let's just say you didn't see that somebody was right for you and now you're starting to see it you definitely start to recognize this in the second week it's almost like you suddenly realize in the second week what that person means to you or that you recognize perhaps things that you could change about the way that you handled the dynamics of that relationship to change it to help change it for the better um like you're starting to see um like it's just coming as clearly because it feels to me that some of you may not have trusted maybe that person or you may have seen only the negative attributes or you might have seen how it couldn't have worked because maybe an age gap you might have seen lots of things that would have put boundaries like there could have been a different religion to you You're, something that doesn't that you couldn't see that maybe you put your own limitations around you basically start to see it but very very differently and you start to wonder what why you were thinking like that and a little bit of regret now this could also play out the other way around but it's coming across it's mainly that you guys start to basically the veil has been lifted and what you thought maybe was issues or problems is now you're like i don't know why i saw that now to me that makes a lot of sense because of the energy that we've had for the last year but also because we're going into this energy for the next two and a half years which is about a different set of eyes about new clarity about new better energy so that things can move forward in a much better way so you're kind of left with a bit of a dilemma a little bit 
Um, and I think this plays out in different ways depending on your connection about you making a choice about whether you want to move things forward with these new set of eyes because you start to see how something actually was fated and it becomes quite a desperate need for you to want to make sure that you kind of try to gain you know, gain favour or to win favour or to get someone back or to start even a relationship with somebody or just to change the pattern of how perhaps you have been um, in the relationship or so that you are contributing to the health of that relationship. It could also be you're expressing to that person what it is that they need to do to help you feel secure and satisfied. It, it's, it's a beautiful dialogue of dance that's been shown as basically clearing out any cobwebs or any old demons that was either in the other person or within you to kind of look at this afresh and go forward in a very fresh way. I've said this to a few times, it's about basically you need to see that whatever decision you make in an existing connection or any decision that you make in terms of maybe pushing forward, forward with somebody that perhaps, you know, um, you, you, you discarded before or perhaps is returning to you, that you are moving things into a new, it's new, it's a new type of relationship. So i.e. you could have been friends before, now you're having a relationship. You could have had loads of arguments before, now you're choosing not to because you see how it could be fixed if that makes sense so it, there is it's going to be brand new and again in line with the, the 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 energy and i just get here that my guides say you you turn from being defensive or indefendable about why you didn't go somewhere or didn't do anything to being much more spiritually aware about um the importance of the connection for you and you wanting to make that right in every way that you can and taking your responsibility in that role of how that plays out and hoping that they fall in line with that also too and then again this great deeper understanding in this third week that this feels really divine for you so for those of you who perhaps might have challenges about whether you get that connection the way that you want you'll panic a little bit but push through it, it feels like most of you will get your way, basically. And I get that from the other person, and again, this could also be you, that they've always known that it was going to work out, and we're just waiting for you to figure that out, basically, and hoped that it would be. So the fact that you're now in an opportunity to help you both or you both of you trying to kind of make that work it actually brings you together in a beautifully divine way where you just have absolute certainty and trust that you know that this bond is like really secure and loving and sorry if you can hear that drilling in the background it feels like <laughs> on my last video of the day it's <laughs> somebody's decided to drill at nearly like four in the afternoon madness but anyway <laughs> I, I I just want to say here just like the way you end the year is with basically this clear vision that suddenly hits you about how to make something work to your favor how to understand that somebody was always meant for you that it's actually a very beautiful very pure very special kind of love and how you go about making that a reality even if that means discarding other people for that connection i mean it will play out in many different ways but play as it will and it's just fresh like I just feel with you guys it's not even about the love aspect it just feels like fresh and new and you feel empowered they feel empowered and you drive your driving force together so it's a beautiful way to end the year and a beautiful way to start the year basically so I really super hope that that's been helpful for you to understand the energies that are going to play out in your star sign for December 2017 I've been Bella and again it's been amazing to read food for most of you Lib Librans this year um, on my first year on YouTube. Um, by the end of the year, I will also be doing some um, annual um, horoscopes, so do watch out for those, as well as your generally love horoscope for uh, January 2018. So have happy holidays. I hope this has been helpful, and I've been better. Bye-bye.